Find e to the 1.5th power using a calculator. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. To the nearest hundredth. So let's get our trusty TI-85 out. And let's evaluate it. And different calculators are different ways, but most graphing calculators, at least the Texas Instruments ones, it'll work this way. It would be a little bit different if you use the HP calculators, the old ones that I, I had in high school, and I think they're, they're still around. Or you do it in reverse Polish, where you where you you do the the function and then the arguments. So that's a little bit different. And if you use a basic scientific calculator, it also might be a little different. So you might want to make sure that you're 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 using the functions right. But assuming you're using one of these, let me just show you how to do it. So right over here, you see this little e to the x right over there, but it's in orange. So the way to access that orange function is to press this orange button. So this says, let's use the second function of these buttons right over here. If you wanted this blue function of it, you'd press the blue button. So you press this second, and you're pressing the natural log button, but it knows to do e to the x because I pressed second first. So it's e to the, and we just want to take e to the 1.5th power, and we get 4.48, let's see, they said to the nearest hundredth. So 4.48, and they have a 1 there, so we would round down, because it's less than 5, so 4.48. So this is approximately equal to 4.48, and we're done.